Hello. Today I want to talk about the causes of uh, recurrent yeast infections, the vaginal yeast infections. Now I did a video of uh, the causes and the symptoms and the treatment of uh, vaginal yeast infections. Kindly find it and watch. This is the only thing I'm going to do the causes of the recurrent vaginal yeast infections. Now, uh, the signs and symptoms of the yeast infections, one can have the discharge from the vagina, which is even outdoors. The other thing is uh, some itchiness and also some pain during sex. Those are some of the signs and uh, symptoms. Now, we need to understand that the health vagina contains the bacteria and the yeast cells. And these are the normal uh, bacteria, normal yeast cells in the vagina. Now, therefore, these yeast cells is a, a naturally occurring microorganism in the vagina. It's a normal uh, flora in the vagina. The other thing is that this bacteria now, the lactobacillus bacteria, keeps this yeast in check. So, if there is embarrassing between uh, then this yeast infection gonna uh, occur. Now this lactobacillus secretes the lactic and the hydrogen peroxide which give the vagina its acidic pH level. So these are the one to keep in check these yeast uh, infections. Now the other thing is that uh, if there is now the, ba uh, the, the, the balancing between the bacteria and uh, what about the yeast? Then uh, this yeast will start growing. And now when it starts growing, it will to give you these uh, discharges, uh, some itchiness, and also pain during uh, urination or pain during a sexual intercourse. Now what makes it more recurrent? What makes it more recurrent? Now let's see. One is uh, the medications. Some medications that we take such as uh, some steroids, maybe you've been on medications due to maybe transplants. Now these medications gonna lower the immunity and if the immunity is low, these yeast cells gonna grow. So one is medications. The other thing is that antibiotic, the misuse and overuse of antibiotics. So this also gonna kill the good bacteria such as this lactobacillus giving allowance for this uh, yeast to grow. The other thing is uh, some diseases, some conditions such as HIV, uh, the diabetes, cancer, this always lowers the immunity, hence favoring the yeast uh, growth. The other thing is uh, some hormonal balancing, such as the during menstruation, uh, pregnancy, and even uh, the use of uh, family uh, 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 methods, family planning. This, this contains some uh, estrogens. The estrogen also, which uh, favor these yeast cells to grow, giving you these uh, current infections. The other thing is that if you have also stress, stress is also another key uh, cause of uh, these current yeast infection due to hormonal uh, imbalances. So these are some of the causes that might give you the recurrent vaginal yeast infections. So we cannot blame the toilet. These are some of the causes that gives you these uh, uh, yeast infections, overgrowth of these yeast infections. Now, this is the end of this video. Kindly, if you are new, remember to subscribe. Continue supporting as we continue making this health video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.